Hi. So the other day I made a video talking about how when I moved to Canada I realized that I only have to do four courses every semester instead of thirteen courses. And some of you were like, "How is that humanly possible?" To clarify, I was talking more about high school, not undergrad. For context, I am from Vietnam, and I came to Canada like over eight years ago for grade eleven. And so I already did grade ten in Vietnam, and that's why I was really surprised coming here, finding out that, oh my goodness, I only have to do four courses every semester. So yeah, in Vietnam, unless you go to an international school, those who go to just regular public school like I did, you have to do thirteen courses that are mandatory, and on top of that, you have to do an elective, which adds up to be fourteen, not thirteen courses. Because there's so many courses, they can't just do it all in one day. Like what they do in Canada,、uh, they have to spread it out throughout the week. So that's why every day schedule is very different. There are some classes that are considered more important, like math and physics.、Uh, you have them like three times a week. But those that are considered less important, like phys ed,、uh, in this case, you will have them like once a week. Each class is around 45 minutes long, which is quite short comparing to classes in high school in Canada. Since classes are really short, the program is carried to the second semester, which means、uh, you have the same teachers for the whole year. There are finals at the end of each semester, but you know when you're in Vietnam, the, instead of studying for four courses, now you have to study for 14 courses、uh, because school is freaking dang hard. Ninety-nine percent of the students go to extracurriculums after school, so they just end up spending the whole day from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. doing school after school after school. Some of y'all saying that I'm flexing, but I'm telling you that you are 